Joey, a, a remarkable day that felt like it was on fast forward at times, but what's your reflection of how the, the day has gone and, and where the match is at as well? Yeah, it's been a real hard fought day. Um, I thought we bowled really well up front and then towards the back end of the day, they bowled, re they batted sorry, really well. Um, but those last two wickets have given us a real lift going into tomorrow. Let's go back sort of a, a day or so really and have a look at, at that batting innings with, with yourself and, and Joe Clark that's put yourself in the position that you are in. Your maiden uh, first class 50 for knots, a proud moment for you? Yeah, definitely. It's something you want to tick off early in your career, um, but hopefully now I can push on and get, get that 100 um, and go from there. When it comes to the, the bowling front, obviously you know there's a battery of fast bowlers as, as it were at this club. Is it hard coming in when there's the likes of, of Fletch and, and Brett and, and Dane going so well? Yeah, definitely. Um, you, need, you need to come into the first team with real confidence and I felt like play, do, playing really well in the second team has given me that confidence to go into the first team and do, do, do my stuff really. Um, I've struggled with injuries this year, um, but now I'm fit and strong, healthy and hopefully doing a good job for the bowlers. Four wickets for yourself, obviously, in that first innings today, really sort of tore the tore the innings innings open. Do you think your your sort of style of bowling suits the the rest of the attack in in your sort of discipline and your lines and your lengths? Yeah, I think so. I think me and Brett um, try and swing the ball, um, and, and Fletch and Mull hit hard length. Um, but yeah, I got the ball swinging in the first innings, um, and I seemed to get the nicks. Um, I, I didn't quite get the wickets last week, but now today, I, thankfully, I did. Yeah, as an attack, what do you think you did well in that first innings that, that really did cause them to, to be all out for 73? Yeah, I just thought we were real patient. We were up on our length. Um, it's quite easy to get nice and pretty on that sort of wicket, um, but getting nice and full, encouraging the drive really helps us today. In that second innings, obviously Yorkshire put up a bit more of a fight, 169 for three as we stand. What do you think the difference was maybe between those two innings, just a case of good batting? Yeah, I think so. you got to be, give credit to them. Live and Cap Cola Cadmore batted really nicely in that evening session, but those last two, like those two wickets late on, real gave us a real lift going into tomorrow. And how's the pitch playing as well? We can see there's still a bit of grass on it, and it was nipping around, but it sort of looked like it might be flattening out a bit in that. In that yeah, last it is flattening about, flattening out a bit. Um, there's, there's still a good ball in it, so um, you have to get real full on your length and try and encourage the drive. Um, but we'll be looking to do that more tomorrow. Is there any hesitation in forcing the follow-on? Um, I don't think so. Um, we put ourselves in a real good position to win, win by an innings, but I don't think that's going to be the case anymore. Um, we're going to have to bowl well in the morning, hopefully go from there, get those runs. Yeah, and you mentioned those two wickets almost on, on the strike of the close of play, really. How important are they just for, for momentum and the fact that you know they are three down now going into the final two days? Yeah, it would have been a lot harder than going in one down, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> Tomorrow, yeah, it's, it's given us a lot more confidence, given everyone a bit more energy. Um, everyone's having a beer up there, more happy than what they would have been one down. So uh, we're going to strive hard tomorrow and do our best from there.